Hello, my fellow viewers and subscribers, and this is Super Truck Bob Chick, and I am here talking about, well, where I've been for the past couple of weeks because I've done nothing but some quick and sloppy videos for the past two weeks. Or, well, since Friday of last week. Okay, just so you know, I've actually been working on something that's been taking quite a bit of time, and it's actually due to a poll that I put out at close to the beginning of the year. Basically, I've kind of came to a conclusion about trying to make a game for myself, so maybe I might actually start turning up a profit from something else, other than trying to do YouTube for a profit, but I'll have more details on that video when it comes out, and I will probably, and hopefully maybe get enough living so that maybe I can start becoming a little more independent and not have to work nearly as much and work myself down to the bone, so I can focus a little bit more on YouTube, which means that you guys will get more content, and I would actually probably have more of an enjoyable time making content, and getting to a point where maybe I can also be able to focus on building the games also a little bit more too, so I can deliver on some of the promises too. Like, for example, Diagnosis Psychosis. I'm still working on quite a bit of the tech for that, and holy moly, it's been coming a bit of a nightmare for me, so I need to take a step back and take a breather from that in order to do it. Don't worry, I'm still working on the devlog, still trying to talk about... Or at least I'm writing a script on how to... Well, at least I'm writing a script, and then I'm trying to dumb down that script so that simple people would also understand, too, because I'm trying hard not to complicate things way too much. But in the long run, I put out a vote this year if I should remake my game, This Game Is Not Broken, or if I should do a game designed necessarily around speedrunning. Well, I've made up my mind, and yes, despite what that one person who voted, thank you for voting, by the way, I am making a game that is designed around speedrunning. I'm sorry, I know you were probably curious to see me remake my first game that I ever made, This Game Is Not Broken, and sure, I probably would be able to do something quick with that, but then, of course, at that same time, also offering improvement would also still end up taking quite a bit of time anyway, so no matter which way you look at it, both these projects were still going to suck up some of my time, no matter what and my attention, especially with the fact that I still have to work a full-time job while doing this. But again, I'll probably get into that in another video. So, this is basically what I've been working on. I am trying to work on a point-and-click game that is also having the de secondary design to be speedrun. However, with being it a point-and-click adventure game, at least I could also make something that people who play casually can enjoy as well. So, you know, there still would be a story and all that stuff, but also there is a speedrunning aspect to it, so if you want to speedrun it, you can. Um, it's a little complicated to explain, but primarily, I haven't really necessarily gotten down to the point-and-click mechanics yet. Actually, my brain kind of wanders from project to project and idea to idea, and I figured, you know what, it'd be interesting to try out this idea for this, since a lot of classic point-and-click adventure games were designed for old CRT monitors. So this is exactly what I decided to do. I decided now's the time to program a CRT emulator. Yeah, I know, probably not the most uh, <laughs> time-saving thing, but... You know what? I think it actually turned out pretty well, despite the fact that I had to go through several hiccups. Actually, this is the very first image that I got ever since I started trying to implement this very idea. And as you can tell, yeah, it didn't work out very well. It, it looks terrible. <laughs> I don't know what caused all this to happen until I actually figured out the render method that I was using required squares. So approximately for the next image that I'm going to be showing you, which is going to be this room with the W in the corner, which I'll probably explain a little bit more about that W a little bit later on, technically has 140 pixels that you cannot see, primarily only because of the fact that I have to render it in absolute squares in order for it to work, which is also part of the reason why the W is up in the corner. But in other words, actually, I think this looks really fantastic. However... It doesn't really necessarily look very good while recording, so I'm going to have to figure out a solution for that now. But in the meantime, I'm actually pretty impressed with the results of how my CRT emulator works, and honestly, it looks really good to the naked eye on an actual freaking monitor. Actually, I will fire up the program on my computer and take a picture with a photo camera so that you guys can also see it. At looking at it through the actual lens of how an actual freaking eye would look, see it. So, it's actually kind of looking pretty impressive right now, but there are still a few hiccups that I need to get 
through in order to get the I mean, there are still a few things that I have to work through in order to get it to work a little bit better and probably to get a little more up to standard or snuff. It's either that or I might just decide to scrap it ultimately, but I think it's actually made some serious progress so far. Also, now it's time to describe the W inside the room. Yeah, that little W that you see up there inside that corner. <laughs> Well, to give you a brief explanation about why it exists is primarily just due to the fact that I actually decided to change up the Weblum's logo. It no longer looks like this. Now, it looks like this. Actually, I prefer this better because this looks more like an actual neon sign than the first Weblum's logo ever did. And here's an image of them. Well, not side by side, but top to bottom <laughs> comparing the two. I think it actually looks pretty impressive, and I hope some of you guys also like it too. I'll be doing a bit more of an artistic render of it soon, also primarily for the Weblums comic series that I'm also working on. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, that's all I have to report so far, but I'll let you know more about the game gradually. But I'm not going to try and reveal all the tricks and the secrets of the game. No, that is stuff that you're going to all have to find out. So, anyway, without further ado, that's kind of what's taking up most of my time right now. I am very sorry about that. I'm trying to get this game out in a timely manner, though, granted, my, <laughs> pro my work ethic isn't necessarily as productive as I was hoping it would be. It's still going a lot better than I am expecting it. So, I'm just going to keep up with this, and granted, even if it's going to take me at least till probably the end of February, I will try to get a game out. So, anyway, if you liked this video, please be sure to hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you all in the next video. This is Super Chocobalkshake, signing off!